Well, hello, and welcome to another FAQ Monday. Today, we are going to answer some questions. Three questions. To be exact, if you have a question, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments or on my Ask FM if you choose to do it anonymously. This accent is terrible. First question, can you talk about or do a tutorial of different mic placements and why you may use one style over the other? How do you mic a cab using two mics? I would like to hear the difference because I am struggling with mic placement. You know, mic placement is just one of those things where you're just gonna learn through repeating the process and moving a mic around. I, you know, I always recommend to folks start with one mic. Don't instantly start micing up cabinets using multiple mics if you're fairly new to that process. Start out with one mic, off axis, on axis, move it all around, record a pass. You know, this is where uh, something like reamping would come in, come into play. If you have two DI tracks, you can just reamp, see how it sounds in the mix, and move it a little bit. See how it sounds in the mix again, and that's really how you just learn how to place mics. Then over time, you will know. Bam! If I get the mic, you know, generally in this spot or this spot, I will be pretty close, and only need to do, you know, two or three more movements, and I'll be right there. But it just takes time, man, and. Um, as far as two microphones go, the you know the sky's the limit. Two, three, four mics um, that some of the big boys do is just you know the more mics you have, the more time consuming it gets. But the payoff is usually large. I am a huge fan of dual miking, and for phasing mics, I made this tutorial on how to phase two mics a long time ago. And you should check that out just to get kind of an idea of what you're looking at. But there will be a video when I get the Dynamount robotic mic mover thing robot. When I get that, I will make a tutorial about mic placement for sure. Hey Fluff, what is your favorite two by 12 cab? What's your opinion on the Mesa 212 vertical cabs? Let me know, cheers. You know, recently after spending many years doing the custom cab thing and having all sorts of custom options, I've recently just kind of gone back home, if you will, and I just got a bunch of Mesa boogie cabinets. Um, I have one 212, two 212s. I'm thinking about getting a second 212 for a possible band situation, but uh, you know, the Mesa Boogie 212 rectifier cabinet is still my go-to 212 cabinet. I mean, that is that cabinet is what all others are measured against, let's be honest. Um, it's so robust and it's so good sounding. You know, in the years past, I used to call it kind of boomy, but now in retrospect, I think I just didn't know what I was doing yet. Um, now that I've spent time with another one, after I've got the newest one, it's just uh, amazing and I just, huge bang for the buck, especially on the used market. Um, as far as the vertical Mesa Boogie 212 cabs, I have plugged into a few of them and they are awesome. I would really, really love to check one out. However, I think it kind of looks funny with a head on top of it because then you just, you're looking at a giant T, a Mesa Boogie T and it's kind of odd, but I still would love to get one for uh, rolling around and uh, recording with. What is the chance you will review a Freeman Dirty Shirley? Just like anything else, if you guys want to see me demo something, you need to contact the companies and let them know that you want to see it. Twitter, Facebook, emails. Um, I have emailed Friedman several times over the years and I get no response. So it is up to you guys. If you want to see see me do anything with Friedman at all, I would love to do anything with Friedman. Uh, I think that would just be so much fun. But uh, yeah, let them know, man. Um, anything you guys want to see me do, let the companies know. Um, they love hearing from you guys and there's nothing more powerful this week i suggest to you a wonderful wonderful video from joe bonamassa how to get many many tones out of a les paul and an amp with no effects or pedals and he demonstrates the uses of the tone control and the pickup selector and he gets jazz country rock tones woman tones it's just a brilliant, brilliant watch. I highly recommend it to any guitar player. You don't even have to be a Les Paul enthusiast to enjoy it. Brilliant, brilliant as always, Joe. You guys have been wonderful. I have been Fluff. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Got my iPad ready, ready to answer some questions. But uh, do I want a no? Hmm. I don't want a beer. Well, maybe I do want a beer.